Welcome to the shop, Steve here at SKS Props, and in today's video, we're gonna be making a custom witch's hat out of two millimeter HD foam. Now, this is a fun project because I am not a seamstress. I have sewn things for my costumes in the past, but I usually try to find a way to fake it using foam. And with something like this, this is my proof of concept. This took me about half an hour to put together, and then I used this to make all the templates for my final version, which is awesome because you guys can download my templates and build your own custom hat. So I took those templates and I made my final version. Now this is still two millimeter foam, but it's been sealed with Plasti Dip and then painted. So it's considerably more rigid than my concept version was. I wanna show you guys what it takes to put together your own custom witch's hat. We got a lot to do, so let's get started. I've got my roll of two millimeter foam and I take a pencil and tie that to a piece of string. This is how I'm going to scale the top of the hat. I measure out the string, place it in the corner and draw out my quarter circle. This is then cut out using a utility knife and you can see the cone that will be the top of the hat. To create the brim of the hat, I made a custom guide and this is held into place with a straight pin. A pencil is used in the guide to create a perfect circle. This is how you can scale the hat to any size that you would like. Notice there are two circles on the outside and one circle in the middle. All three of these will need to be cut out. I start by cutting out the interior circle. This is going to be the main section of our hat. This outer section cut out and keep to the side, we're gonna be using it later on. The very middle of the brim is removed and four slits are cut into the foam. This will help the foam come down onto your head and seat the hat properly. If you wanted the brim of the hat to be more rigid, you could always double up this layer. Next, we're gonna to glue together our quarter circle to make the cone. To adhere the foam together, I'm using Bob Smith Super Glue. I'm starting at the edge and slowly working my way up. You want this seam to line up as neat as possible all the way up to the tip of the hat. Now that we have our cone, you're gonna to wanna to cut slits all the way around the bottom. These flaps are gonna be folded back, have glue put on them and pressed onto the brim. This method will securely attach these two pieces together. Just continue to work your way around the cone until all the flaps have been glued down. And don't worry about this seam, we're gonna cover it up later on. Here I cut some additional notches just to make the hat fit better. Now here's how the top of the hat gets character. You're gonna need some wire or a coat hanger. Measure out the wire and cut to fit and then glue a little foam to the end. This will keep the wire from poking through the top of the hat. Add some super glue to this foam and glue it all the way to the top. Now cut some additional strips of two millimeter foam and glue those onto the wire to keep it in place. To give this hat some volume once it's curled, we're gonna fill it with some polyfill. Just put in about enough to fill half of the cone. Also go ahead and curl the end of the wire so it doesn't poke you in the back of the head. Now that the wire and polyfill are in place, go ahead and bend the top of the hat to give it character. The wire will keep the foam from bouncing back. This is a pretty convincing trick. Go ahead and grab the outer circle that we had cut out earlier. This is going to be a ribbon that will wrap around the base of the hat and cover the seam. Because it is a circle, it should easily conform to the shape of the hat. Go ahead and glue that into place. I just wanna take a moment to thank all of my Patreon supporters and those of you that have been purchasing my line of HD foam through Blick Art Materials. Now remember, if you go through the links that are in the video description and on my website, I do receive a small vendor affiliate and that's an awesome way to help support the channel. I want this hat to have a little bit of extra detail, so I'm gonna add a buckle to the front. The width of the ribbon is traced onto some six millimeter HD foam and a basic buckle shape is cut out. I use a smooth sanding drum on my Dremel rotary tool to knock down all the edges. Once that is complete, the foam strip is fed through the buckle and glued into place. To finish off the back of the hat, go ahead and cut the foam strip and tuck it behind one of the previous layers.
Now this hat really has an anime cartoon style and to keep that look I'm going to be cutting strips of 2mm foam to act as fake stitches. These foam strips are just glued into little X's and then placed over the seam line. To keep the polyfill from coming out, I take the original circle that we cut out the middle, cut it in half, and glue it into place. It doesn't have to look pretty because nobody will ever see this. And overall I'm really happy with how this hat looks, you would never think that it's just 2mm foam. Like I had mentioned in the beginning, I'm using Plasti Dip to cover my foam. I'm going to add 2-3 to three light coats, and be sure to wear a respirator when doing this process. It's also important to note that I did not heat seal this foam. After the Plasti Dip had cured, I then took some purple spray paint and lightly dusted the underside of the hat. This gave it a cool two-tone contrast. To paint the ribbon on the hat, I'm going to be using some Liquitex Heavy Body Prism Violet. This color is fairly opaque, so you want to make sure not to get it on the black part of the brim. I start by watering down the paint a little bit, and then add a second layer to fill it in. Now because the foam is 2mm, I take a small detail brush and paint all the edges, as well as the stitches on the back. To give the buckle a metallic sheen, I'm going to be using Golden Brand Iridescent Bronze. With these metallics, you want to make sure not to get it anywhere else that you don't want it because a little bit goes a long way. To add a highlight layer to this ribbon, I'm going to be using Liquitex Heavy Body Brilliant Purple. This is selectively painted on parts that stick out or the edges to give the ribbon a nice contrast. Once the ribbon was complete, that same paint was applied to the stitches on the back. So you guys can see the basic steps that I took to create my own custom 2mm HD foam witch's hat. Which is awesome because now that you have the techniques, you can scale your hat to whatever size that you would want. So if you have a cosplay coming up or you just want a custom witch's hat for Halloween, you can do that. And on that note, if you're building any of my builds, be sure to tag me at SKS Props on Twitter and Instagram because I love seeing your progress. And if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to share them with your friends and family. And until next time, build your best with the best HD foam.